We've constructed our dam, now let's talk about dam maintenance. Dam maintenance is really important for the longevity of your dam and avoiding things like leaking dams and eroding outlets. You'll have a well constructed dam but over time it'll need maintenance. You'll need to de-seal it, you'll have just silt move through that dam over many years, your capacity will decrease, you'll have wear and tear like we have on this bank here today through stock moving over it. When you, a drought appears, or we get that dry time, that's a great time to do your maintenance. So you're looking at desilting, so you want to get your capacity back in your dam. You want to look at your banks, where stock have walked across them to wear them down, where wind movement has worn the bank away. You need to prop that bank back up and have a nice big fat bank. And at the same time, you look at your outlets to make sure they're outletting well, that it's working. Once you desilt your dam, you'll desilt all the silt will come out and you'll sit in behind your dam. But then you can get down into some good clay and you reline the, the inside of your wall with good clay. That'll seal your dam up again and you'll pick up your freeboard. So that's the amount of material above water to the top of your dam. And you'll need a good meter again, the same as when you construct a dam. A good signal on a dam if it's leaking is you'll see a wet patch below the dam. So that dam is not holding, it's, you'll see a really green patch or that might persist into the summer. So the dam's leaking and, and providing that water below to make the grass grow. Ground cover is, is essential, that's, that's providing uh, like a filter for the water to filter through into the dam, which is going to provide a, a cleaner drinking water for the stock. There's a low patch just behind me, you'll see, so the freeboard is probably down to four to five hundred millimetres, so that needs bringing back up to a metre. The inside batter is not sitting at a three to one and the back is probably not sitting at that either so it needs fattening up. The crest is probably not quite wide enough but the other thing I'd look at is the outlet up the end is quite wet. So if you put a trickle pipe through this dam here and spilt the water below in the middle of the drainage unit where it naturally would be, your outlet will dry up and you won't have a wet paddock. Cattle cause tracking on the dam, you can see on this structure here that there's several places where they've been tracking that's the damage they cause, but again, it is maintenance and, and wear and tear on a dam that's not fenced. Dam maintenance needs to be an overall part of your dam planning to ensure the longevity of your dams.